Hi guys and welcome to Quick Effects, the show where I show you a video or photo effect in less than or up to five minutes. Um, this is a new show that I'm going to be doing here kind of over the summer since I am going to be running low on time due to work schedule and everything like that. So I thought that I would do my first installment here. Um, there was a photo I put up on my Facebook channel um, a, a little bit a little while back um, that showed this some star trails and one of the guys uh, on Facebook asked me to do a tutorial for it and I'm like hey you know what let's do this as fast as I can and just give you the basic rundown on how to how to do this uh, first of all you're gonna need an intervalometer uh, or something like that to be able to do a time lapse with a camera um, I used uh, my Canon T2i with the magic lantern intervalometer or if you have like an icon that has a built-in one or something like that um, I used it at uh, I used my 18 to 55 millimeter lens uh, for 30 second exposures um, and uh, it looked a lot like this um, just this over and over and over and over again except I have some dark images in there for some reason but anyway um, the uh, you just take that and you had to do this out late at night clear day you don't want to have any um, uh, clouds you don't want to have any lights in the way you don't want to have uh, any airplanes uh, flying through your shot you take this for about two hours or three hours at, I mean as long as you can possibly stay out there but the big deal with taking this is um, you have to stay out there with your camera because as you um, might imagine the temperature will change as you do your what is basically a time lapse and it will cause the uh, lens to fog over as you can see here and um, that caused a problem so I didn't get a very good photo in the end out of it but I just want to show you guys how to do it um, and then uh, it will be uh, fairly simple to do once you get to it so what you guys are gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take all your foot all your photos that you had and take out anything that had airplanes maybe going through like the middle of it now if they're on the side and you might just want to leave it it's up to you or any uh, light sources that might have come up in front like uh, there are a couple photos that I have that you can see like my the light from my camera or my cell phone looking on the lens as I'm looking to see if it fogged over or not you might have to remove those and that's what will actually be these gaps uh, for some reason I couldn't get mine to be filled in like it was supposed to but in the end it still looked pretty good so I'm not gonna complain about it but um, so what you do is you take all your photos which I have here um, but the key is when you're taking this time lapse is you need to go and take what is called a um, I think it's a dark image or something like that and um, this dark image is where you put the lens cap back on to your camera after you've got it focused and everything like that and you take a normal exposure like a 30 second shot where it'll collect any noise data that is from your camera specifically that just might be defects in your sensor or something like that which is normal for these sort of things um, you would take that and then go into um, what is called star stacks uh, it's a free program that I'll list in the description you take all your files uh, you can open them here or drag and drop um, and you just click in grab here open then you uh, click here to add a dark image um, so then you click open uh, that'll add it down here to dark images and then you click this button to render but uh, first we go over here to settings make sure that you're on blending mode gap filling and subtract dark images uh, other than these there's really nothing else that you need to be doing um, they it'll all pretty much work out so then you click this button right here to render alright so after that is finished rendering all you have to do is then come over here to show your thresh threshold for the gap filling and adjust the threshold as need be um, until basically all you see is the light trails uh, the stars in the green or as best as you can get that um, and then you toggle the amount to change uh, how much of the gap filling you want um, because I did this not exactly the way that I was hoping um, it doesn't recognize all the stars as stars 
as, as stars, I guess. But um, it in the end, it worked out. Uh, you had to, you can adjust with the gap filling, but that will not live update here on the screen. That'll be updated um, only in the saved file. So then you save your file, and it'll come out with something like this, um, which I ended up getting. And then after that, I take it into camera bag two, and then throw some quick exposure uh, and contrast adjustments. Uh, just jack up the exposure a bit and throw on some contrast um, and then you got a beautiful nice guy image well guys this is Brian Erickson for quick effects um, make sure to go to my Facebook page and like and like this video share it with your friends and if you guys like this please comment in the description and let me know so that I can keep making videos like this have a great day guys